Hello and welcome to the broadcast. I'm Craig Carlson. Leading us off tonight, the Reaver football team hitting the road for the first time this season in search for their first win of the season, traveling 10 hours to Grand Rapids, Michigan to take on the number 16 Raiders. IWTV student Tyler White also made the trip. Reavers having bus trouble on their way up to Michigan. Many of the players didn't get in until 1 a.m. local time Saturday morning. And the offense starts out slow. Third down and six, a swing pass from Austin McBeth finds Marcus Sullivan, but he stops short of the first down, and it's three and out for the Reavers. Then on the ensuing punt, the bad snap gets through the legs of punter Kiefer Litch, tries to get it off, but it's blocked out of bounds. And it doesn't take Grand Rapids long to score. The lateral goes to DeMonte Collins who steps back and connects with Brandon Newburn for the touchdown and the Raiders jump out 7-0 early. A few possessions later for Grand Rapids. It's 4th and 2. The handoff goes to Jason Hannett. Iowa Western appears to stop him short but an extremely generous spot gives the Raiders a first down. A few plays later, the Raiders have the ball inside the IW 30, and it's Casey Terrio running the option. He keeps it, gets to the outside, picks up 14 yards and the first down. Then same drive, second quarter, Terrio back to pass, finds and hits Collins for the touchdown, and Grand Rapids is up 13-0 on Iowa Western. But the Reaver offense finally wakes up. Third down and five, Macbeth on the play action fake, rolls out and finds Abe Koss for the gain of eight and the first down. Then this time, they give it to Streeter and he gets to the edge. Finds the seam and busts it down inside the 40 to the 39 for a gain of 18 more yards. A couple plays later, Macbeth back to pass and he finds Anthony Thompson in the middle of the field for the completion and the first down for a gain of 14. Then Macbeth capping off the drive, showing off that arm of his again, while finding Shane Prater in the end zone who juggles it, but holds on and it's a touchdown for the Reavers to cut that lead to 13-7. But then Grand Rapids responds, but not without some help. Hannett getting the carry, he gets a few blocks, brings it all the way to the 40 yard line, and then on top of that, a personal foul on Iowa Western, tax on 15 extra yards, and the Raiders are deep in Reaver territory. Moments later, Terrio back to pass, he's looking end zone, but the pass is broken up by Kendrick Matthews, just a great play on his part. But you gotta stay focused on the game, and this is just a huge mental error. Grand Rapids running the same play on third and 17, but this time Matthews gets called for pass interference, and on top of that, on sportsmanlike conduct for taunting, and the Raiders will have the ball on the IW two yard line. And they will not let this opportunity pass them up as the handoff goes to Hannett, who gets in for the touchdown to make it 20 to seven. But Iowa Western trying to stay within striking distance. The Air Reaver often showing off what they can do. Macbeth hits Sullivan and he takes it down to the 17 for a gain of 15 yards. Then Macbeth having a great second quarter, looks, finds, and hits Thompson for the touchdown. And Iowa Western cuts the lead to seven after the botched extra point to make it 20 to 13. But Grand Rapids takes back all the momentum and really closes out the game. The Raiders marching right back down the field. They give Hannett the ball while faking everyone out. And he finds Pater to put Grand Rapids up 27 to 13. Then Ida back to punt again and yeah, you guessed it. It's blocked and Grand Rapids is knocking on the door right before half. And Terrio back to pass. Finds Collins in the flats for the score, and the Raiders go up 34 to 13 at the halfway point. And then the Raiders come out as strong as a team can come out. The Reavers receiving the ball in the first half, so they're kicking off to start the second half, and it's Isaiah Cheatham receiving the kickoff, finding a seam with the help of a few blocks, finds his way all the way home for the touchdown. And although Iowa Western would add a few TDs in the fourth, they would not recover, losing 54 to 36. 
Grand Rapids does a nice job. Their coach did a nice job. I mean, you look at what got us beat the first two games. What did they start the game with? They got us on it. I mean, so again, that's you know, that's on us. I mean, we got to become a better disciplined football team. And now let's take a look at the score page brought to you by Flex Physical Therapy. Both teams coming out slow in the third quarter, and Iowa Western kept things close for most of the second quarter, buying two touchdown passes by Austin McBeth. But at the end of the day, just too many mistakes by Iowa Western, and Grand Rapids took advantage of every single one. GRCC has outscored opponents 194 to 84 this season, and definitely showed us why they are ranked. The next game for the Reavers is Saturday, September 26th versus Harper.